What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and we're back here in Corsicana doing a finished tour Barnuminium for the Corsicana Barnuminium. So, you know, it's it's been a little while coming and we haven't got to do as many updates here as we wanted, but nevertheless, we have another finished product for you guys we're going to show you. Uh, so just let's give them a little bit of details about this particular build. Well, this one's got 2,000 square foot of living, um, about 775 square foot in the shop, and then about 575 uh, front and back porches. Yes, and we have a two bedroom, three uh, full bath if you count the utility room area because we got a full shower there mm -hmm. as well as uh, you know a toilet room and uh, another sink in yep. that area. Um, another thing featured here is you know, we're gonna have, we have an aquarium, stuff like that going on in this property. Yeah, this is a, a cool piece to this property. Yeah, so I think you guys are gonna enjoy walking through this build. It's a little bit different. So it has some different, you know, setups as far as uh, the layout. And so we're looking forward to showing you guys this build. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do that now and don't forget to ring the bell so you can get notified whenever we update a new video because we've got a lot more coming yes and <laughs> we're going to be keeping bringing you guys more content so i hope you guys enjoy this video let's get it going Go guys. Got this nice little entryway off the yeah, and I love front this door. Full, uh, glass door. This is something that they were looking to do to be able to get see some, out and get some light, natural light in here. So, you know, it's a little bit different than some of our original or or some of our more typical uh, Barnuminium layouts because we have the aquarium room here on this side, which we'll get into some of those details here in a little bit. And then more centrally located is our living room area. Uh, and then the kitchen towards the back, uh, you know, so it's still open, but we don't have maybe as many windows and those kind of things uh, on the front and the back. It's got a little bit different layout. So this is not a two story, this is a single story. And so we are using the vault in this open area with this beautiful windmill fan. And one thing you will notice throughout is our client has had installed a complete Bose entertainment system all throughout all the bedrooms. So that's something that'll be a little bit different in this build. Also, there's a lot of colors involved here. So, uh, you know, in this main area here, we've got, you know, grays and uh, some darker gray trim. Uh, you know, this is all a bare paint. Uh, as far as the wall colors in here, um, we'll have to put those in the description below. We'll tell you what all the uh, colors are for each room. But right now, I'm not going to get into trying to tell you it because there's a lot of different colors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, we do have tile complete throughout this room as well. And, you know, the floor plan here, we have just a little over 2,000 square feet. And there is, uh, like we said, three full baths, two bedrooms, as well as, you know, full working kitchen, and then another room back here. Kind of a kitchenette almost. Which for... is, it's like another kitchen. Yeah. And then also in the laundry room, you know, there's more plumbing there as well. But yeah, so we're here, we're in the main living room area. And, you know, there's a little bit of echo right now, but everybody likes to uh, talk about that in the videos. But once you get furniture, rugs, all that kind of stuff, it's a little bit better. But you're getting a little more reverberation in here because of the tile flooring. So, right. uh, well, let's go on over to the kitchen and show you guys some of the details that we have going on over there. All right. So before we move on into all the details here of the kitchen, there are... Uh, there is a little bit more space that, you know, some of our builds might not lend 
uh, as much space for maybe having a dining room or a place for a dining table. But I believe in this build, you know, you know, you have a double door flowing off the back. So there's quite a bit of room here that you could set up another little breakfast table or dining table. So there's a lot of space here, which gives plenty of room for when you have guests and things like that coming through. But let's let's dive on into what we got going here. All right. uh, we do have shaker style cabinets, which is fairly typical for a lot of the builds that we do, even though sometimes we got the raised panels. Um, you know, we have level two granite coming across here and you know, this beautiful backsplash, uh, which is a glass decorative tile. And we have, you know, the ornament uh, black, Right, all the hardware is black. Um, the actual color of the cabinets is bonsai trunk okay. by Bear. There you go. It's, so it's a, like a green yeah, color a green cabinet, color. which looks really nice, you know, coming off the, the grays and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But here in the island, um, we have a lot of drawer space, a lot of cabinet top space, but uh, we have, you know, the trash drawer that comes full trash drawer here, which I believe fits like two trash cans. Mm -hmm. And you have all this drawer space here in the middle, which is really nice. We have a microwave drawer, uh, drawer which is becoming really popular these days. It's nice to not have it on your cabinet and it's nice to not have, you know, to be able to feature a vent hood, an actual vent hood instead of having your microwave always above. Right. like if, if it was our house, I mean, our microwave is probably the most used appliance in the kitchen. So, what are you trying to say? I don't cook. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying our kids, uh, their cooking abilities don't go far beyond the microwave. Right, right. So, but let's give them a little bit more details here what we got going on behind us there. All right, well, all of the appliances are stainless steel. And we have the apron, the farm sink here. Um, and it's just a ceramic white. Um, and then all the, the black faucets, you know, to go along with the hardware. Yeah, and this is nice. Look at the window space that looks back out on this property. This, this, pro this particular property here in Corsicana has a lot of just wildlife. There's deer, there's uh, wild hogs, there's all kinds of peacocks. things. Peacocks. Yeah, there's, there's roaming peacocks that don't mind uh, jumping up on your vehicles. Yeah. Uh, there's, they have a lot of different animals as well, which it's, it makes for a lot of fun. But the, you know, looking back over the back side of this property is going to be a really nice feature to have. And of course, we have our, uh, you know, gooseneck light coming back down over that sink, which I think is always a nice thing to have. Well, we can't overlook this um, ice machine. Okay. I'm super jealous of the ice machine. Yes. Can't wait to get one of those one of these days. This is going to be your... Uh, it's like the sonic ice. This thing started wor working immediately, and, and uh, I think clients have already been um, being able to partake some of that. Yeah. So moving right along, a lot more upper space. These cabinets are nine foot tall. So, you know, this is what it looks like if you use a full uh, cabinet instead of having like a, a half cabinet up here, um, you know, you have with the, the light display and stuff like that. But, you know, having a little bit lower eave heights on the main living, it helps to maybe not feel like you're in such a you know, large room. Yeah, it kind of fills the space a little better. But it's still a pretty open okay. room, which is more, I like that feel better because it's not like your typical conventional frame house that has like an eight or nine foot uh, eave height. Like we have like maybe 10 to 12 foot is a real comfortable way mm -hmm. to set up your barnuminium. So um, also must say that um, my wife here has displayed these beautiful uh, vase and flowers, which is a staple of ours, which seems to be a continuing tradition. Even back when we were doing remodeling, uh, we've been setting these vases out. So um, another happy client to uh, uh, get one of these, um, but more counter space, more drawer space, lots of drawer space here. And this is your gas cooktop here with this uh, appliance. It's a six burner stove. That's nice. Very nice. Uh, I believe it's 
maybe like a 42 inch, I think. Uh, pretty Dang. wide and uh, you know, just continuing with this backsplash that comes up behind that piece there looks pretty awesome. Uh, you know, it's, it's nice when you can have the gas cooktop, uh, propane cooktop, um, but like one thing that's unique, like we always have these discussions early on, is where do you put, where are you utilizing gas? Um, in this particular build, we are using gas for our tankless water heater as well as this cooktop. And there are some other gas drops that we've done for like a barbecue grill and those kind of things. On the back porch, yeah. But we don't typically recommend because of the air tightness and the way that we're building these builds, we don't recommend using a heat furnace for your HVAC. We try to go electric on that. Um, the way that we're building is actually to conserve energy. Uh, propane can be very expensive, but if you can imagine when you're trying to create a tight, you know, bubble, around the house so that you can, you know, have conditioned attic space and all that. You don't want to poke a hole in that and just let and push air out. And that's what you'd be right. doing is driving air out if you have a penetration somewhere. Uh, doesn't mean you can't do that. It just means you'd have to designate a specific area for a heat furnace, which in return, uh, you know, it becomes a little bit more trouble to deal with. So when we're doing, say, a standard water heater, we recommend, uh, Gas, uh, electric as well as a uh, heat pump for your HVAC. So that's what we're running here in this particular build. Um, kind of went off on a tangent there, but moving on through here, we do have the full refrigerator uh, cabinet, which is sort of a staple as well for us because you'll see that a lot of times people don't always take this emphasis and put the wrapped cabinet here, but we like to dress this out and frame in the refrigerator cabinet and to have the uppers and bring that out just as far as we can. Now this is a full size refrigerator, so it does stick out a little bit farther, but you could use a counter depth fridge and it would be completely concealed as far as possible. So there's plenty of bar space as well. And just kind of the pendant lights in this room fit just nice. All right, so let's go from here maybe go check out the master bedroom suite show them what we got going on in there all right so right off of this main area is the master suite it's a 16 by 17 foot room yes a yeah. lot of space in here set up just about any way you want because you have the split windows on this main wall as well as split windows here. You got a full wall here, you got a full wall here. Right. Yeah. So plenty Rotate of options it. here. I would <laughs> imagine, you know, we might set up on one of these walls. But uh, this particular room, we changed colors on the walls. Yep. A lot of different colors here on yep. this house. But I think the wall color is light drizzle and the uh, trim color is shadows all by bare. Yes, so this is a bare paint, which uh, you, you know, you can find at Home Depot, um, as well as the windmill fan in here. We have nine foot ceilings as well in here. So, I mean, changing the colors up is, is, is kind of a nice uh, thing, you know, sometimes to do, but I don't mind these colors, but the trim and the doors are all consistent as well with all of the black hardware. And in the bedrooms, we have carpet. There's only two yes. rooms that we have carpet is the bedrooms. In the bedrooms and... Uh, but hey, there's no echo in here. Yeah, imagine <laughs> that. <laughs> so moving from here, let's go to the rest of the... Uh, the master bath. Master bath. All right, so here is our master bath. And we've got the double vanities, probably his and hers. Yeah, and <laughs> so there's, you know, you got the cabinet knee space here underneath there and... You know, a lot of these cabinets are black, so it kind of goes with the framed mirrors that we have in here, as and well as the vanity lights. And yeah, matching up with all of that, it's kind of like a, you know, also a common space that leads to other parts, you know, off of this master suite. But you know, this is a beautiful master uh, bathtub here, which is just a freestanding tub, and the hardware and everything that comes off the, the wrapped penny tile for the backsplash there looks really cool. And all the black faucets and I love the handheld because I know when like washing kids hair or even just rinsing out the bathtub after a bubble bath you can kind of rinse it out with your with your handheld so that's a pretty neat 
Fantastic. Yeah, so a good way to kind of maintain the space. Mm -hmm. And then also off of here, we have the toilet room again, which is a private uh, area uh, with the upper cabinet space above that for the linens. And then we have a full walk-in shower. And, uh, you know, looking through this, there's a lot of space in here with the the bench here and then this you know travertine tile or this travertine light tile it's a natural stone tile uh which uh you know when you're doing that you do have to take special precautions for absorption and those kind of things so uh but there's a, a decorative band going across here which is like an eight inch band with it's also in the back of the soapbox. Uh, we have a full rain head. We have a diverter valve in here as well uh, for a, an additional, you know, hand spray. And then they match the penny towel that surrounds the tub there on the floor for the shower. Yeah, which is always nice. I like to see the volume controls and everything right here where you could just reach in and turn that on. It doesn't always work out, but in this case, it yeah. did. So uh, very nice shower. And uh, as in like fashion, we always take that tile one up to the, uh, the, con the continual wall going on that space. So moving from here, we have a couple other options off this room. One being the master closet. Let's show you guys that and uh, see what you think about what we got there. All right, so th this is the, the main closet for the master. Um, it's got the, the French doors coming in that match the one's coming from the from the bedroom as well. And lots of storage space. We've got some built-in cabinet uh, drawers here. Which is nice. You don't have to put furniture necessarily right. in here. If, if, if you didn't have too many clothes, you could compact all that and maybe even do away with a dresser of some right. sort. But there's plenty of shoe storage as well. Well, I mean, it really just depends on how many shoes you have, but <laughs> there is some in the shoe storage. Let me yeah. say that, some cubby space or shoe storage, as well as kind of the floating closet shelves in here um, with the upper and lower. Uh, and I like, you know, the, the way this turned out, you know, just having plenty of, you know, shelving space throughout this room. Uh, this is all one color in here um, as well which it matches this other room, which is I think the Little Drizzle is the name of the color of the walls here, which all of your trim and all that stuff's the same color here, as well as the ceiling. So, and nice to have window as well looking out. Like, again, they're just trying to capitalize on getting the window space on the front of the house as much as they can, um, you know, and having natural light come in always is, is a good option to have, so. Coming out of this closet, let's go show them what we got uh, next door to this. All right, so this space is kind of different. There's a yeah. lot of things you could have done in here. You could have been a his and her closet, have, or maybe even like a little workout area or a little office area. But in here, the client wanted a sauna. Yeah. So this is a pretty cool thing to have. Dry sauna. Mm -hmm. It's nice, uh, you know, this, you know, in some of our previous videos, like we did the Hill County Barnuminium, uh, you might remember in the layout, they had like a, what's called a parent's retreat, mm -hmm. which it had its own additional room off the master with uh, another closet, all that kind of stuff. And it kind of gives you that same feel here. You're thinking, okay, this could have been an office, could have been a parent's retreat or mm -hmm. a little private hangout or something like that, or an additional master closet space, which would have been one huge closet. Yeah. Uh, so it gives you a lot of options. And keep in mind that when you're doing single story in a barn dominium, then none of your interior walls are load bearing. You know, all of it is uh, pretty much, you could build your walls however you wanted to, because you have one big mm -hmm. cover and then you're, you're putting all your walls together on the lower space. Uh, well, here, this layout, it just you know it seems seems to it just fits what they what they needed and what they wanted. Uh, of course, has a pretty cool full mirror over here as well as this uh, dry sauna that particularly they wanted. I have we have another build coming up in um, Eustis, Texas that is going to have a dry sauna as well. So this is a common need. It's people that actually medically uh, need this type of well, and I think they shut down a lot of the saunas. 
um, yeah, probably the gyms and during so. the COVID and, mm -hmm. and all that. So which, but, but you put a vent in here too to kind of if there was any kind yes, of humidity. It is here. ventilated. We have uh, as well as we have attic access through this room. Uh, we utilize so that we wouldn't take up any other uh, parts of the room. But we have because this is a split. You know, it it, it worked better to have this on this side. So we do have. Uh, attic access as well here. So your room. HVAC is up there. Yes, yes. Of course, you got the uh, Bose system in here as well. So, all right. Well, let's move back to the uh, maybe back towards the middle part of the house. We'll show you guys the uh, peek into the aquarium room and move on back onto the other side. All right, let's go. All right. So when I first heard that we were going to be building like an aquarium room. I, I didn't really think much about it, but it turned out that this was a pretty big deal, you know, to put an aquarium like this. It's, it's pretty involved. There's like a huge science behind it. There's right. a, it's a constant uh, work involved because the rocks, the, all that kind of stuff, which this was not our doing. This was our clients that, that knew everything about all this, and they already had this mm -hmm. uh, in their other house. So. They basically built a room around this particular tank. Yeah, so it was kind of part of it. And, um, you know, the, the rocks and everything that goes in, it's a really big deal because this is like living rocks. Mm -hmm. um, and right now there are a few fish in here, but because it's so new, uh, they're having to work their way up to putting some of their other fish and that kind of stuff back in there. You know, it's a pretty neat effect, as you can see here, how we've been able to frame around this. And, you know, especially at night, I'm sure this is really cool where you don't have the daylight coming through the backside. But, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty cool to have that water feature. Uh, it's kind of like that whole fire water and, you know, thing. You know, it's something that's relaxing about that. So. Yeah, the constant, it's a water feature. You can hear the water moving. Yeah, mm -hmm. the calming effect, I think. Yeah. So let's go show you guys kind of what we got going on in there. The 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 back, I guess the all the mechanical workings of it. There's a lot of moving parts for wow. that tank. That's right. Let's go check it out. On the back side here, um, you know, this is where the main operation for all the aquarium is. It's where the lights hang as well in here, and all of the operation storage, all that kind of stuff needs a space like this. Yeah. And so we do have a full countertop space still level two granite in here um, it's like a kitchen in some ways but without you know your cooking and all that right. stuff but a lot of drawer space upper cabinets a window looking as well out the front so yes yeah, it's, it's really neat to have something special to a build that you can be like wow this is the one with the aquarium or whatever so that's right kind of so this cool. is the aquarium house yeah so <laughs> All right, so moving on from here, we'll take you guys to the other side and show you some of the guest bedroom setup. And uh, also we got to hit the hallway, show you some of the other stuff we got down there. All right, so off of the main living area, we have the, the one guest bedroom. It's about a 12 by 12 foot bedroom. Yeah, and it's got the, the ceiling fan with the light as well as this closet space, which we've got these double access for the closets here and you can see the space there we've got and these are lit up closets um, you know double hanging rod there with a full hanger rod over there um, which it's you know it's still pretty uh, sizable there so you can get all your clothes uh, packed away in there but carpet in this room mm -hmm. it's a little bit different darker color wall here as well with the same color trim that we normally use and going into the bathroom we actually have a pocket door yeah pocket door so we don't do a lot of pocket doors but sometimes uh that does get worked into our plans and we'll have some pocket doors you just don't want to hang anything on this wall right <laughs> yeah whenever you're doing a pocket door structurally speaking i never really thought about it yeah i wouldn't have thought that I mean, it I doesn't always work organs. out, but in this case it did. So. Yeah. All right, so this is the uh, guest bathroom and there's lots of cabinet space in here uh, with the upper cabinet storage as well as the, the drawer space, more shaker style cabinets here. And we also have a full 
tile surround for the bathtub area. So this is like a gray tile, and I like this kind of decorative feel here. A little hexagon. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and we have this uh, hand spray, which most of the showers have. Uh, well, all of them have throughout this particular house. And then we have upper cabinet storage over here, um, as well as the toilet area, which just kind of creates a little bit of a private space if that you know pocket door is open uh, between the bedroom and over here. We have tile uh, that matches what we used in the main living areas in here. So that's what we used in the, in the bathroom. From here, we're gonna go to uh, head towards the utility room area uh, and we'll stop along the way and show you guys uh, where the pantry was. <laughs> So right off of the hallway that leads to the utility room, we have the big double door opening for the pantry. And uh, you know, this is a lot of space for your food pantry. And it's sort of like a butler's pantry, but of course there's no sink, that kind of stuff. But we have this wonderful counter space. I actually like this uh, counter top that we're using here. This is all level two granite throughout. Um, but we've got some nice little cubby space, drawer space in here. Um, I like that we have the deeper shelves on the bottom. So as you can imagine, you can put your cereal boxes, all that kind of stuff, and the upper shelves, as well as we're utilizing in this room, he's utilizing for some of his stereo components. Uh, so we had extra plugs through here, but look at the amount of upper storage for your pantry in here. So. Uh, and and you can get in here and you can see really well and it's going to be just a great space you know for having a walk-in pantry a little bit bigger than we you normally see like for your corner pantry or something like that in a kitchen um, which it's always nice to kind of create a little more space in the living room uh, or in that family area so that you don't have you know the pantry taking up so much of that space so Going from here, we're gonna go through the laundry uh, area and show you what we've got going there before we head on out to the shop. So this is the laundry area, which has another full functional refrigerator space and of course your laundry space, countertop space, sink, uh, full uh, undermount sink, stainless. And uh, also we have the black painted cabinets um here and then behind you is the private toilet area that we're talking about we have the same tile that we've been using throughout this build and then uh, we have a full walk-in well closet with additional shelf space here uh you know probably like uh, cleaning supplies maybe your vacuums and mops mm -hmm. can go oh in. yeah it'd be great for that this is not hanging space in here for coats or anything like that but you could you could easily uh have so hanging rod space in there. In. Mm -hmm. so uh it's a nice option and there's a lot of space in here so you know even with the the front load uh dryer and all that stuff you've got a good four foot or more clearance yeah. And we've got a couple of windows in here, so we've got the natural light. And then we have two uh, entrances in here. We've got a back door to the, the patio, and then we have the door into the shop as well. Exactly. And then, and this, so this becomes sort of a bypass room, you know. Uh, also, we have a full shower. So if you've been out getting muddy and all that coming in off the shop or out on your, your trails or doing whatever you need to do, um, we have a full walk-in shower here, um, which I think, you know, you could you could use it as well for cleaning pets or, uh, dirty you know, kids. dirty kids, whatever <laughs> it might entail. But in here, we've got a all like blacked out tile, uh, which is pretty cool. I like that look. And we have the hand spray as well. It can be used for that. And... Uh, and then in here, we, we have the semi-frameless uh, shower door. And then coming off of this area, it's going to lead into the shop. So, um, which is always a good thing to have in your barn dominium if you can. So let's go out here, show you guys what we got going on in the shop. All right, here's the shop. 
Yeah, so this is basically uh, another 775 square foot shop. And, you know, it's fully insulated. We have, uh, we, we have little Polaris over here. It kind of shows you some of the space that's being used here. Right, it's kind of tucked away where you can still pull your vehicles in and this is not in your way. Yeah, and, and one thing that we should note here is that in this particular build, our client uh, wanted these pendant LEDs, which is a nice option to have. They're really bright, uh, but also we, we had some customizations on the overhead door that we're using in here. So there's the glass, which is similar to what we used in like the Hill County I mean, the hilltop barnuminium as well as the maypearl barnuminium you guys mm -hmm. might have seen. And it matches the front door with the, the glass panels in it, yeah, it and it's black on the outside. The contemporary top mm -hmm. feel to it. Um, but, you know, it's a 16 foot door, so you can get a lot of space, you know, parking two cars in here, uh, which, is, which is awesome. Uh, also here, you can see we do have the, the metal panel wall that we, kind of do as a standard. This is something that we finish our wall off because we use the zip system um, and we did, we don't, uh, because that's part of the envelope of our house, um, we like to kind of finish that off with that, that metal panel there. And the client's got some Bose speakers out here as well. They've got a surround they, sound they literally. They got it set up and there's gonna be operational volume controls in every uh, room. So those are, that's what, what he told me he was gonna be doing. Um, so we need to show you guys additionally, uh, you know, the back porch. So we'll head on back there, show you guys what that looks like. All right, so here we are here on the back porch area, which looks out, like I said previously, to all of the, the kind of the farm field that we have going here on this build with the animals and the goats. And the wooded. And Area. Yeah, the yeah, peacocks yeah. and, you know, <laughs> lions, tigers, bears, and, you know, bobcats and all kinds <laughs> of stuff out here. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we didn't talk about earlier was the fact that we have overhangs going all around on this build. We have our closed soffits. Uh, that's always a specialty thing that we do. And with the closed soffits, you know, under porches and all that, it takes a little bit more coordination to do that. But we don't like to have an open soffit. So that is included to have a covered soffits. Mm -hmm. But then additionally speaking, the color of the panels here, we're using a colony green on the wall panels. And then we have burnished slate on all the roof and the gutters and trim and downspout. And, uh, you know, and then a lot of the black accents as right, well. The ceiling the, fans, the posts, right. the doors are all yeah. black. So, you know, looking at this, uh, you can kind of get a feel for dimensionally speaking that, uh, you know, your overhangs really help just create a little bit of extra, you know, protection when it comes to your fall from uh, the roof and, and all of that. Now you can get that with your gutters, but, you know, having an overhang just extends it just that little bit further, uh, which we like to always have a cover if we can over our windows and doors, mm -hmm. um, you know, especially doors, you know, those are like penetrations in the wall, but you know, building with the two by six studded frame wall with the zip system and our wall system and the way that we build, it actually lends a lot better opportunity for us to be able to have better flashings and things like that on the wall and to seal properly around all of those windows and everything that we're installing. So, you know, that's something to keep in mind with our, with that type of wall system. There are a lot of people who build a so-called barnuminium that will come out and build a steel building and then come back and try to build uh, and put cut in windows and they'll even put all the exterior panels on and all that stuff before they cut in windows. Uh, well, that's a very weak way, in my opinion, to seal and flash around those uh, you know, doors and windows. Because we frame ours first with, right. with the lumber and then... Right, we frame it with the it. lumber and then we come back and we seal with all of our zip tape and around those penetrations before we cover all that with our wood, with our metal panels. Right. Another thing that you keep in mind that gives us an opportunity is if there's ever any trouble inside that exterior wall, 
we can access that by removing a panel, cutting into the zip system, and then easily accessing that uh, to where it can be easily repaired, put back together, and, and, back, and closed back up. So that's another thing that gives us an advantage with our zip system on the exterior walls. Uh, you know, also we can do any type of exterior finish on that type of setup. So that just gives you a little bit of background on why we use the system that we use. Uh, you know, so I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, watching this video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you know, please do that now, like we said. And we have a lot of videos coming up when it comes to the finished tour videos. So this is your Corsicana Barn Dominium. We're signing off here. It's a beautiful piece of property. A huge shout out and thanks to our clients uh, for, you know, you know, letting us work with them on this project. And all of you who have uh, subscribed as well, welcome to the channel. I'm Josh Helm. And I'm Brandy Helm. And we're wishing you all the best. Thanks for watching. Texas, Texas Best. best.